And one of our first files is we have our 3D file where we're, what we're doing here is I'm just going to select one of my objects here and if I go to the properties what you'll see is that we'll, we're creating 3D solids. These 3D solids if we then wanted to put some, put some materials on them we can go to our material browser and apply different materials to these objects based on the Autodesk materials libraries and again this this information this library is a standard library across all forms of AutoCAD soft, Autodesk software, uh, whether or not it's 3ds Max, whether it's Revit or AutoCAD. They're gaining, you're gaining access to the same material libraries that you can then apply to your 3D styles inside of AutoCAD. And again, since this is a palette, what I'm going to do is kind of just anchor it to the right of my screen. So what we can do is if I had one of my you know, objects that I was placing inside of here and I created them within with regular AutoCAD line work. I go to my home tab and I'm just going to create a rectangle so we can kind of see what that process is. I'm just going to create a rectangle and again with the AutoCAD tools I can get very specific about the lengths and widths of what these objects are. I can just do it with regular line work um, and then use these my 3D tools. So I'm just creating a rectangle. I'm going to go to my 3D tools and I can take that 2D shape extrude it and then create my 3D solid the height that I want that 3D solid to become so I can just kind of eyeball it I can specify it just by typing in the value if I wanted this to be 8 feet tall that's my object if I select this object I want to hit escape to get out of that creation mode select my object go into the properties and you can see that my Z direction, my Z is the eight feet that I specified. So we can get very specific with our objects. If I was going through and creating this with, with 2D line work, um, or in this case I created it with the rectangle tool, I could have specified the exact dimensions of that rectangle tool. As you can see in the other 3D objects, the other 3D style that I have here, we've also created a voided shape in here. If I had another object, and I'm going to go back and create another rectangle. Turn my O-snaps on here. And that's my shape. I can then extrude this the same distance. Go back to my 3D tools. Extrude this the same distance. And call that, you know, call that eight feet again. And now, be because these tools I want to blend these two walls. I can use tools like my union tools to blend them together so that they become one solid object. So as you can see, I can then I can take these objects and create my 3D solids with them and develop my plan into something that I can then go in and apply materials to. If I wanted this to be brick, I can set that to be brick. I can just go into my material browser. And set the material that I want it to be. I want it to be masonry brick. Apply that, add that to my documents. And then now this, I can just come up and do my paint tools and drag the information that I have here and apply that to the materials that I have.